Fuck Champs event, about to go back to the airport. Academy episode's gone up. As usual, lots of comments, lots of reaction. Some of it quite controversial. Thought I'd take a few minutes to address some of it now. Try not to do any spoilers if you haven't seen it. One thing I will say though is if you haven't seen the episode yet, swipe up on this, check it out, form your own opinion, and then we can have a little chat about it. Then you can go to the comments section. Don't just jump quite right, right in. It's quite a long episode, but there's lots of information to take in. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to try not to do any spoilers, but I can't guarantee it. So first off, let's talk about the things that have happened in the last two episodes, seven and six. And some people weren't happy with our decisions to uh, lose a couple of players. First thing to point out is, in the, in, I mentioned this in the comment on the video, um, these episodes, these series, there's a lot of production that goes into this. We can't film them all like the day after you guys start leaving comments. A lot of it has to be filmed in advance. There's a lot of things to think about. You know, we've got all the crew, we've got to make sure we've got them available. All the players need to be available. We need to have a location to film it at. We need to have time to edit it. Some of these edits take a lot, a lot of time. Those interviews, half an hour episode, was made up of about four hours of interview footage. Saunders and his team work really hard at getting these stuff turned around as quickly as possible. We have a certain schedule we want to kind of stick to. As a result, we have to film some stuff in advance. Now, the episode that's just gone up was filmed before you guys saw episode six, which is the one you all kicked off about. I say you all kicked off about it. The reality is some of you kicked off about it. Actually, a minority. For once, right now, in the Academy series, the more sane comments are coming on Twitter than YouTube. Usually, it's Twitter that has the mentalness. It's actually YouTube that's throwing up a lot of it right now. Now, above all else, I will stand by, not just mine, but all the hashtag boys, everyone involved that's helped in the series, I will stand by our, our decisions 100%. We have made the best decisions we can with the information available in order to protect the series and the club. Now, episode six, I don't, this isn't a spoiler, this, this video's been up for a couple of weeks. Our decision to let go of Adam Lovett, and we did make it clear that we really like Adam Lovett and we would love for him to play the hashtag in the future, but we didn't think it was right for him to win this series. We got a bit of criticism for that. Because obviously he's one of our players' brothers. Now, what you guys maybe need to do, and a lot of you don't, a lot of you are fine, a lot of you are just getting it right, but he's cut us a little bit of slack, particularly me. I've been doing this for a long time. I know what would have happened if he'd won the series. You guys will pretend it wouldn't have happened, but if him or someone else with some kind of angle on it that could be connected to me in any way had won this series, I would have got so much stick. Hashtag United would have got so much stick for doing a nationwide search and not finding someone. And not finding someone new. So we made a decision that we felt was the most honest and fair decision. And also protect the series. We do want to do it again. And we want you people watching who didn't apply this time. I didn't make it through. To want to apply next time. To believe you watching right now can win. The honest reality is we have been overly cautious. As a result of the stuff some of you guys say in comments and that. We've tried to protect ourselves. The irony is that doing that has actually made us come under criticism. But that is just the YouTube world we live in. You know, the X Factor doesn't have a comment section. Not even on the YouTube videos they post after the show do they allow comments, because it would be ridiculous, the stuff that would get put on there. The Apprentice doesn't have a comment section. You don't even get to vote on The Apprentice, right? You have to just watch it. Is Hashtag Academy the most unique, brand new, never been seen before football idea for a series? No, it's not. It's based on a lot of similar series that have done in the past. It's kind of new to YouTube. Not a lot of it's been done for YouTube before. And as a result, certain challenges are coming up. Because YouTube as a platform is completely different to mainstream TV, we have to face certain things other TV shows don't have to deal with. Some of which are great, some of which are a challenge. Now, we are learning as this process goes. We are making mistakes, probably, yeah, but we don't want to make them again. So, you know, the whole brother thing, or the whole YouTuber thing, should they have been allowed to enter if they weren't going to go through? Probably not. You're right. We didn't have that rule in place when we started the series. We didn't think it was going to be an issue. As the series has gone, we've realised it could be. So, without any shadow of a doubt, if we do another Hashtag Academy series, there will be a rule in place which says if you have any connection with the club already, or you are a YouTuber or someone in this space, you will not be allowed to enter. We have to do it like that if we want to find new talent. What's been amazing about this process is that it was a blank canvas. So, someone's going to win it, someone's going to get the prize money, get to play the Hashtag for a year minimum. But loads of them can play for Hashtag. There's no reason why we can't. Loads of you have been pushing for it since the series started. We've been thinking about it, don't worry. Once this Academy series is done, there will be an announcement and you will see some of these people that you want justice for um, get involved. You need to just relax, calm down and enjoy the series, guys. But as usual, I don't want to get caught up with certain comments and people jumping on a bandwagon because there's a lot of you out there that are enjoying the series and are giving some great feedback and, you know, we're open to criticism, guys. We're not saying we're perfect. We're saying the opposite, in fact. We're saying we're learning. But um, hopefully some of you are just enjoying what we're trying here. 
these sorts of series are always going to throw up lots of differences of opinion and controversial comments. That's fine. We accept it. We can roll with it. What we don't want, though, is our integrity question because what we're trying to do is completely legit, something good for hopefully you guys to enjoy, one of you to play for us and to make a cool series. Every Hashtag United related decision we make whether it's the academy or the esports or the football, is for the betterment of the club, is for the betterment of the content, and you guys just need to trust in what we're doing. All right, mate? As for, like, jumping on a certain person, uh, I just think it's not right, guys. I think it's, it's, it's a bit of bullying going on in the YouTube comments right now, and I, it's, it's a shame to see, because I think YouTube is a place that that stuff shouldn't happen, if possible. It should be better than that. The only real comment I've seen, genuinely, that's really stuck with me and, and, and bugged me a little bit from this whole process is this tweet I got from someone. And it said, Spencer, I love what you're doing with the Academy series. I think it's brilliant. I would love to reply for the next series, but I don't think I'm going to because I don't think the vicious attack on some of your players is something I could handle. That's a real shame. Because the decisions we are making right now to protect the series is to, so we can keep doing stuff like this and we can keep giving you guys opportunities to get involved in what we do but some of you in the comments are actually making people not want to. So I think you should think twice before you jump on someone's back, especially if they've not done anything wrong. I'm not going to go on anymore. I've actually got to go to the airport soon anyway. But um, I, do I expect this to, to make the comments chill out? Probably not. But hopefully it might turn a few of you around and make you think twice before just saying some nonsense and attacking someone or just being unnecessarily negative. The last thing I'm going to say, and it's something I hope I never have to do and I never wanted to do, but I will do if some of the unfair attacks on some of these Academy boys continue, is disable the comments on a video. Many YouTubers have done it in the past, I've never done it myself, but I can put up with criticism, I can put up with you guys criticising our decisions, that's fine, even though sometimes it's a bit unfair, but if you start bullying one of the, these boys, especially the younger lads, I will disable the comments, which will be a real shame for those of you who've got something good to say. The final thing to remind you guys is, despite all the criticism you might say and all the feedback you might give, you guys decide who wins this series. That's one thing we've never changed from the start of the series to now. You all decide the winner. So you might not be happy with our finalists. You might wish there were some different finalists in there. That's up to us and you have to accept that. But you can decide which of them wins. So stop moaning, get on board, or get mugged off. The last thing I'll say is this. We have taken your feedback on board. I think once this series is finished, you'll be happy with what we're going to take on from this series. So just let Uncle Spenny look after you.